personal fit, welcome to our body split today. Today our focus, and it's gonna be challenging, we're gonna hit legs, which in itself is enough, right? Then we're gonna throw some chest in with this, okay? So uh, some neat movements that are combined both legs and chest in some cases. So uh, kind of a different combination. It probably isn't done a whole lot, but I think you'll like this routine. Um, a few things you wanna grab. First of all, if you have a variety of dumbbells, I'm thinking you probably need two or three different pairs, so a lighter pair, a moderate pair, and maybe a little heavier. Um, you're you're pretty much set for this routine. So these are really geared towards uh, uh, weights in each hand. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, or maybe a lot of people have like lighter dumbbells, but not much heavier, let me talk about what you can do for that. Um, as far as dumbbells go, uh, let's start with the light ones, I guess. If you don't have any dumbbells at all, uh, can do it. So guys, we have an underhand funnel raise we're gonna do today. And you don't need a lot of weight for that, okay? Um, canned goods may be an option for some people. Uh, if they're a little light, then you can come up to gallon jugs, okay? And listen, you could use two to four gallon jugs, and these things are about eight pounds. I always tell people though, it, it feels a little heavier than like grabbing eight pound dumbbell. It's not as balanced, obviously, as a dumbbell. Uh, there's a little movement, it's fluid, of course. Um, so uh, they work really well, and listen, you could maybe have two full ones and if two are a little heavy, you know, 16 pounds, it's gonna feel a little heavier than that, but um, you could drain water off on some. So you can kind of kind of make your weight with those if you wanted to, okay? Um, those are your dumbbell options. Uh, you will also want probably a mat or a towel. With our routine today, it's very simple. We have two circuits set up. As soon as you get done with our warm up, we have two circuits, just three exercises, and we're going through three rounds of that. So it, it'll go relatively quickly, um, um, but it, it's challenging. So in each circuit, we have an exercise on the floor. So I'd encourage maybe if you have a mat um, or at least a towel, maybe that might make the floor more comfortable for that. Uh, the other thing, we have a, a burpee or a squat thrust push up into a front squat. Okay, so if you're not sure what that is, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, if for some reason it's challenging or, or you're not able to go to the floor for that kind of burpee movement, you could use a chair or a bench to modify that. So I have clients, we modify that sometimes for them uh, for various reasons, but you do have that option. So we wanna make sure we appeal to just about anybody. So we'll talk about modifications as we go through, but it's a great workout really for just about any fitness level, okay? And it's great because you can do it at home, of course. Okay, that's what we're kind of focusing on. This is our home workouts, all right? So let me throw the warm up in here and we're gonna get this thing started here. Um, we have three exercises that I think do a pretty good job of, of getting the lower body warm and also um, going through different planes of motion and also um, getting the shoulders, upper body a little work too. So we're gonna hamstrings, quads, inner thigh, shoulders, chest, so it's a neat little thing. And this is only, three movements, we're going through them twice, okay? So let's get started, it's on the screen. We're going to start with a squat into a calf raise. So you're going to press the balls of the feet into the floor at the top of your squat, okay? Follow along with me, I'm going to do this with you in, in, in real time. So it'll be easy for you to kind of see what's going on, all right? And we'll also have some videos kind of showing what's up too. So in modifications, great workout. Here we go, uh, we're going to start with a squat calf raise. Guys, I think we're going to get about 10 of these all right, so here we go. We're gonna squat down and then we'll come up and just press the balls to the floor. One, two, three. You know, some people do the warm-ups a little faster. I kind of slow. I got a little joints, right? Five, six, seven. Only run two and I go a little faster. Now we're gonna kind of a wide stance here. We're gonna get about 80s. We're gonna do kind of a, a lateral lunge motion. So really getting that inner thigh. All right, so I'm just gonna hold the one side. I'm just gonna pop up on the heel of the other foot to help stretch out. One, two, Okay, 
nice eight. Dealing with a little knee issue over here on the left leg. So if it doesn't look quite as fluid or flexible, that's what I'm kind of battling with right now. So sorry about that. Here we go, guys. We're going to do a squat low. From the bottom of the squat, we're going to reach towards the floor. Bring the hips up, stretching those hamstrings. Okay? And then we're going to walk out to an inch worm. We have six of these. Follow along. Here we go. So I'm going to squat down. So I get in the squat. I'll place my hands down. Drive those hips up. Stretching those hamstrings. And then I'm going to walk out to an up plank. Come back. Stretch those hamstrings again. Come down. One. Stretch, two, stretch, stretch, three, stretch, stretch them, four, get a good stretch in your option, see those stretch. Good stretch. That's already five. Get another stretch here. Stretch. Squat. Woo! Just three little moves. My body's already getting warm. I hope yours is too. Here we go. Let's go back to this one more time. Squat calf raise. Just trying to get the legs a little warm here and a little upper body. So we're squat, one, squat, two, squat, three, four, squat, five, squat, six, squat, seven, squat, eight, squat, nine, squat, ten, okay. Lateral, here we go. Hammies, walk out. Stretch the hamstrings. One. You should feel really stretched right there. Feel that. Good stretch. Two. Stretch. Stretch. Three. Again, stretch and feel it. Stretch. Four. Stretch them. Stretch them again. Five. A good stretch. Stretch. All right, all right. Hopefully they're feeling pretty good. Uh, it's always good to get warm. Uh, if you have a bike, you can bike for five, 10 minutes, really get a lot of blood in there. Uh, but this at least kind of helps generate some body heat. Just wanna make everything, muscles, your connective tissue, more flexible, okay? Guys, our first circuit, let me throw it on the screen, all right? So first exercise, let's go through these so you kind of have a better understanding of what's going on here. We're gonna do a a burpee, so we're including push up with that. So we're gonna hold dumbbells in your hand, okay? Maybe light to moderate weight, okay? So we're going to drop down like a squat, 
So get as low as you can, then put the dumbbells on the floor. Jump your feet back, jump forward. Dumbbells will be relatively close, jump forward wide. Then we're gonna swing the weight. So don't, 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 don't just lift and try to bring the shoulders. Just kind of swing up the shoulders. And then we're gonna do a squat with the weight. Once you do your squat, we'll set it back down. We'll squat again, jump the feet back, boom, squat, okay? Great exercise, you'll feel those legs, all right? Then, legs are warmed up. We'll hold on to those weights and we're gonna do alternating curtsy lunges, okay? It puts the warmth on the outside. Guys, a lot of the work that we do is, is really medially focused, okay? So we go wide for stability and balance and that's gonna trigger that inside a little bit, okay? So we can do these little curtsy lunges, we can help fire up the outside a little bit more, okay? Uh, after that, we're gonna hit the floor. You let yourself feel good for a second. And then we're gonna do a fly and a close press. So we're trying to enter chest, so we get some triceps, of course. Um, not a crush press, we do that a lot. We do a fly, this flows so good with the press, we're pushing in, okay? But this time we're just gonna do a fly and then close press. So little, little twist on what we do uh, in other videos. Okay, so guys, three rounds of that. We'll talk about the next circuit when we're done with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna grab uh, just a moderate weight here. And we've got 10 of these. Whoo! Uh, remember, you can use a chair for this burpee exercise. So you could set some light dumbbells there. Or if you're not comfortable using weight for the squats, that's fine too. So chair with or without weight, you could drop down, kick your feet back, do your push up. Hop up, and then if you wanted to, you could use weight or just use your, your body weight and squat, okay? So, uh, here we go. Let's get this going. <clears throat> squat. Set this down for just a minute. You want to catch your breath for just a second. And then we're going to go to our curtsy lunges. Whew. We'll get 10 of these lunges on each side. All right, I'll set these down. I'm gonna set up a mat here. 
if you have a larger space, you can have your mat already set up. Okay, we're going to do a fly and a close press. Around 10 or so, if the weights are light, you could do a little more. Bro, make sure your elbows are soft through these flies so my elbows are soft. I'm gonna come up, squeeze, down, drive up. That was 10. That felt good. Guys, take a breather for a second. We're going to start round two here. And out of the way. Guys, get a quick drink if you need it. And we're going back to those, come here, those burpy front squats. sweat going already three exercises all right Whew, let's get this stuff out of the way here here we go good form here all right try to squat as best you can here on the way down push it up let's swing them All right, sit those down for just a minute. Takes a second to catch your breath after those. Whew. <clears throat> All right, curtsy lunges, and you don't have to use weight. I'll be holding some dumbbells, but some people may not need weight. Here we go. Ten inch
Whew. Man, oh man. Whew. All right. Fly, close press. Remember, soft elbows do not strain these shoulders. Here we go. Out. Together. One. Set those guys down. We'll get up. Shake them out a little bit. We have one more round of those to get in. Fast once you get going, but it'll wear you down a little bit. Set those down for just a minute. Lunges are coming up. Pretty aerobic. Whew. All right. A little warm and humid in here. 
sweating it up a little bit here. Here we go. Let's get these lunges now. Okay, whoo, I believe that was 10. Set these down. Fly press, here we go. In. I'll set these down. Guys, that was circuit number one, three rounds, and uh, you know, fairly challenging. Uh, and you can always make that harder just by decreasing your rest between those exercises. Right? So, um, let me move this real quick here. Keep the mat nearby, or if you have room, like I mentioned earlier, you can go off the side. We'll be using it again in this next circuit. Um, Dumbbells picked up and circuit number two. Okay, so our second circuit, guys, we're gonna do an RDL. At the bottom of the RDL, we're gonna squat down. So you need to be conscious of your back. Make sure your back stays straight. Your range of motion may vary on this one. Okay, so if you're doing your RDL, you might, as soon as you break your form, you need to stop. So we're gonna try to go back to the knees. If you're more flexible, go a little lower. So we're trying to go back to the knees, and you're just gonna squat, then come up, up, down, squat. Okay, if you have a little greater range, you can actually go a little lower, and then squat down. But trying to keep that back straight. So a little different move on that. You get a little back on here, so be conscious of that, all right? So uh, don't go too heavy right away. Get a feel for that, all right? So a lot of legs, a lot of hamstring, some back. Uh, after that, we're gonna go underhand frontal raise. You'll need some light weights for this. We're gonna alternate and go together. So you're gonna, you're gonna come up, come across the body. Guys, the elbow's soft, okay? So when you come across the body, don't lock your arm out, okay? So it's a soft elbow coming across. So you come across, across, and then together, okay? Then we're gonna go down to the floor. We're gonna get to a bridge, okay? So you're gonna get those hips up as high as you can. From that bridge position, we're gonna do presses. So I'll be using a little bit, my, my heavier option of weight. Um, and listen, if you only have limited dumbbells, of course, use what you've got. But we're gonna do kind of like, a, this is kind of like a decline press, but you're, you're engaging those hamstrings while you're doing the press. Okay, so work straight with this workout because legs, chest. All right, so um, 
Guys, let me get a drink in there. Let's get this one started, okay? So uh, we're gonna start with that RDL to drop down in a squat. So it's almost like you're going to a deadlift, okay? So we're gonna make an RDL down into the deadlift and back up. Just 10 of these. Here we go. All right, here we go. RDL, ready? All right, here we go. We're gonna go RDL, boom, and I'm gonna squat down. Come up, one, RDL. They're soft at the top. Those were tough. I'll set this down. You guys, underhand front raise, alternate them together. Here we go. About eight of these. Can go to work again. Okay, our gallon jug. Here we go. Thinking chest here, a lot of chest. Okay, that was eight each way. That feels pretty good. I'll stop there. I'll bring my heavier dumbbells down here. And now we're gonna do our bridge press combo. This one's not quite as aerobic as at first circuit. Those burpees. Whew. Okay. Guys, if the weights are a little heavy, make sure and get them in front of you. Don't straighten the shoulders trying to get those weights up. All right. Actually, I'm going to scoot down a little bit so I'm not on the mat. All right. So, here we go. I'm going to lay back. And, all right. We're gonna press those hips up real high. So we're up, and now we're going to really try to contract the chest up. Two, two hips up high. Three. So somewhere around 10, 15 here. Whew. Okay, take a breath. That was one round. Okay, we are back to that RDL squat motion. Really trying to focus. Knees are soft, back is straight. Okay, here we go.
Okay, deal with those. All right, underhand frontal raise. It may look like a shoulder exercise. Lots of pec, lots of chest here. That's our primary movement here. So we're gonna go across the body, squeezing those pecs. Soft. Presses in. Here we go. Squeeze the top. to this third and final round. into a squat motion. Here we go. Just 10. All right, here we go. RDL and then we're squat. Hand from a raise here we go Seven. 
Feeling tired right now. Whew. Here we go. Oh. All right, let's bridge him and then press. Bridge it nice and high. Set those down. Man, really feel those pecs on those. Feel the legs tighten up. Oh, ankle pump. All right. So, hey, that was our chest and leg workout. And you're probably feeling the back a little bit too from those RDLs into a squat. So, I'm a sweaty mess. Hope you had a great workout. Thanks for watching. This is Lee Fitness.